Well, we're excited to figure out what exactly is the difference that our hardware makes, namely our charge air cooler, our upgraded charge air cooler versus the original charge air cooler. And uh, we will have facts to speak about. Basically, we start on the cooler, like the maximum we can go up to is almost like 54 4 degrees. Yeah. But with the upgrade into cooler, it's just like very constant back to back, like different poles and just very consistent. Um, yeah, very yeah. consistent with 44 degrees, so which means like 44. 10, yeah, 44 right yeah. here. Yeah, see, like, wow, really. that's insane. Man. That's yeah. a 10 degree drop. Yeah, 10 yeah. degree drop, and which is very consistent throughout like the entire time. Wow, 10 very degrees, man. And crazy. On day two, mm. it is very crucial, of course, for us to keep the charge air cool and to have consistent air because these charge air coolers are cool with coolant, right? They have a water to air transfer of heat. And once they're heat soaked, it will basically warm up your air, right? So you do not want to get heat soaked. You want to have of consistent course. cool temperatures to have consistent power output. So that's a very, very crucial point right here that we keep. Let's say you go on a run, you go on a track and whatnot. So the, the more you produce heat in your engine, the more you need cooling right? and then this is where it really counts and yeah there you go you see the consistency that's here that's a way to go that's a way to go, yeah. Way to go yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy i'm happy with that